my video blog for week three. First, I'd like to talk about what is anamorphic art. So basically, anamorphic art pushes the laws of art. So it's a distortion of a piece of art or an image or an object, which requires the viewer to change their perspective and or use a device or something so that um, the art becomes recognizable and turns into the object or the visual of what the artist was intending to create. It's Holbein's the ambassador. So as some background information, during this time, King Henry VIII decided to break away from the Pope and the Catholic Church. So this picture represents the turmoil that was going on during this time. Um, in this picture, we see two men. The man on the left is the ambassador in, uh, from France that was currently living in England. And on the right was his friend who was a Pope of the Catholic Church. These two men represent the contrast in beliefs during that time. The ambassador to the left represented the people who had a more realistic, earthly belief. So they believed what was there was there. They never had any intentions of thinking anything outside of what was on earth compared to um, who the Pope represented to the right, which were the more religious people. They had a more extraterrestrial belief in life. They were willing to learn and explore new horizons and new ideas, and they had just a more extraterrestrial view on life. This is the image at the bottom. So this is an example of anamorphic art because it is a visual distortion. So when we look straight on at the painting, we'll notice that the image is very distorted and unrecognizable. But when we change our angle and view of the painting, you'll notice that it becomes the image that it was meant to be, which is a skull. So this represents um, the belief that what you see is not always the truth, and sometimes you need to look at things from a different angle to really find out what the truth is. And that basically reflects on the painting because when you look at it at first glance, you'll notice that these two men are standing there showing all the accomplishments and the achievements that they've made throughout their life. But in reality, when you really look at the picture, it shows that it shows the turmoil that is going on currently in England during this time. Anamorphic art to distort reality, to make people see things in a different perspective and on a deeper level. And one of those is Rauschenberg, who uses combined art. So he takes three-dimensional objects and combines them together to create an integrated painting. And as you can see here, I uploaded a picture that gives an example of this type of art. He uses crop pictures and puts them together to form a totally different image and make something appear real. So for example, in this picture, uh, he cropped two pictures together to make the illusion that these people are actually sitting in this car when we're in, in reality, they were two separate pictures that he integrated together. Jen Holzer, and she uses merging art where she'll create pieces using different quotes from government officials or um, quotes and puts them well, distorts them, puts them on buildings, or angles them certain ways, as you see in this picture right here. And then we have our next artist, Ken Gonzalez Day, who is famous for his lynching pictures where he erases the person being lynched and distorts the image to make it seem as if the lynching never happened and it's just a group of people coming together. So I find it interesting that these four different artists uh, have different types of styles to their art, but in the end they all create visual distortions and make something appear different than what it was in reality because they all make something different from what was originally there into their works of art and they help make people try and see the bigger picture and look deeper and think harder to find the deeper meaning behind things. Also, I like that their works of art make people interpret it interpret their art in their own ways so thank you that's the end of my presentation